On today's video, we're going to unbox a Pittsburgh tap and dive from Harbor Freight. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the Old Guy, the OGJ, and it's nice to have you here in the trailer hood. And before we get started today with the video, I just want to remind you I have a My Coffee page. There is a link in the description, and all you got to do is click on it. No, don't kick it. No, click on it, and you can buy me a cup of coffee, and it helps support the channel, and uh, I could really use some coffee. And today, i done it again. I went to uh, Harbor Freight, and I just wanted to go in and look around, but of course, well, I bought something. And what I bought was this. This is the Pittsburgh 40-piece carbon steel tap and die set. I know that because I'm reading it right there. I'm reading all this stuff right here. And this comes from Harbor Freight. This was not the most expensive set. This was uh, right in the middle. Uh, these are SAE, so those are standard, uh, not metric. They did have a metric one too, but uh, nah, I, I tried to stick with standard. Now, the reason why I was thinking about buying one of these, I have been for a little while, is I had a project where I have to drill a couple of holes, tap some threads, and uh, then the thing that I was going to do that well, doesn't work anymore anyway, so I just threw the damn thing out. But you can always use a nice tap and die set. So we're going to head on out to the, to the uh, shed because it's warmer now, and uh, we're going to unbox this and then try it out on a piece of scrap steel that I have. And uh, we'll see how well it works. Yeah, let's do that now. This is what all the fuss is about. It's a uh, Pittsburgh 40-piece carbon steel tap and die set. And, of course, it came from Harbor Freight. Uh, I've only used a tap and die a few times. Um, when I was working on a motorcycle and we made some custom parts, I needed it to, uh, to attach some... Uh, covers that we had made my, my nephew and I had made and uh, it worked out pretty well I just bought a cheap one didn't last very long but I thought this one was a little bit better and we're gonna find out so let's open it up and see what we got at $22 I'm not really expecting a whole lot but you never know. I've bought some things from Harbor Freight that uh, were very inexpensive and actually worked out pretty nice. So, let's move some stuff around here and take a look. Well, it doesn't stay in the case very well. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, the bits are all over the place, but that's, you know, that's all right. Let's see some of the accessories we got here. These should be, if I can get them out, little gauges. I don't like the way the dies are set in. Uh, there's... Some more over here. I, right off the bat, I don't like the case because, first of all, that's a cheap-ass screwdriver. Everything is just kind of floating around. So I'm going to have to figure out which is which and what goes where. Uh, as you can see, it's just, a, just one of these formed plastic cases. And it's, it's cheap as hell. But, you know, for $22, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. If the tool actually works, that's what we want. That is, um, wow. Now, that's just pot metal. This is cheap as hell. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> to be honest with you, this isn't even steel. This is just pot metal. It's And it's light, and it feels like it's going to break. And... Same thing with this. It's... It's not substantial at all. Uh, hmm. 
So for the first time ever, yeah, my clothes have changed a little bit. Uh, for the first time ever, I'm going to stop the video. I'm not going to go any further. I'm not even going to use this thing. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, I don't want to use the word dangerous, but um, that handle is so damn cheap. I think it's going to break the first time I try to use it. And uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. So I, uh, I just tossed the damn thing in the garbage. I, I, that's the first time I've ever <laughs> tried out a tool and said, nope. Um, because I've, I've taken some chances now and again, but this thing is junk. Um, sorry, Harbor Freight. And I, I normally, I like Harbor Freight. They have a lot of, uh, nice and expensive tools that will last for a while. Anyway, I love the Bauer line, the Hercules line of power tools. Uh, I'm a big fan of those. Some of the uh, hand tools I like, I, I do buy some accessories there, but not a lot. This is something I will never buy again. And people told me, you know, you know if you want to get a decent tap and die set, you, you're going to spend at least 50 bucks on a small set. And that's probably what I should have done. And I probably will next time. Uh, but that's why I buy the cheap ass tools and try them out. So you don't have to, and you don't have to waste your money. Now, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe uh, that handle will last. And maybe you have a set of these these tap and die, uh, have a set of uh, tap and die set like this. Boy, it's hard to speak this late at night. Uh, but, you know, maybe you have this and it works just fine and I should have given it a, a, a real chance. But I, I've i seen enough tools to know that this is not quality, even though I'm not an expert on tap and die sets by any stretch of the imagination. I've just used them a few times. But I know what they're supposed to look like, and I know what they're supposed to do, and I don't think this thing will, will do what it's supposed to do. So that's it. This is the first time I've ever just scrapped it and said, to hell with it, and I just threw it away. Um, that's, that's all I can say about that. So thanks for watching this very quick video, and I hope you got some insight. And if I, again, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Maybe I, uh, I, I should fish it out of the trash can and, uh, and give it a real try but uh, i don't think so this thing is uh it's it's not good no i mean they could have spent just a couple of more dollars and charged me a couple of more dollars to make a cheap steel handle not pot metal i mean it's it's awful i didn't like it so that's going to do it for this quick video and for the old guy network i am the og i am jay and i'm out